<sighs> Hi everyone. Whoa, Kenny! Here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it is time for a review of the new Flume mixtape. Hi, this is Flume. This is a new, out of the blue mixtape from Australian music producer Flume, who we have not heard from in a longer project capacity in, in quite a while. Not since 2016, when we saw Flume drop his last full-length album, Skin. A project that presented Flume pulling from the same base of underground electronic ideas that we knew him to do up until this point. The glitch hop, the wonky stuff, the future bass, but then kind of amping it up and giving it this gigantic pristine EDM style presentation. I guess trying to bring himself and these sounds to a wider audience. And even if the critical reception of this record may have been a little mixed, I still think Flume's plan on this album worked as this record did kind of grow his profile with a big sound and even bigger list of features. People like Vince Staples and Raekwon and Aluna George at the time, they've, they've sort of fallen off recently. Little Dragon, even Beck. Now around a time where you would be expecting Flume to have a new album coming out around the corner. Instead, he's coming out with a mixtape. And also, instead of reaching for that brass ring of commercial appeal, it's kind of like he's going more experimental on this one. Maybe it's him feeling the freedom to let loose on the mixtape format, I'm not sure. But what I can say is I think Flume's sound palettes on this record are a lot more varied than they've been in the past, more creative and thought-provoking, feels a lot less like an outright commercial bastardization of these sounds, and more like an embrace of what makes them weird, while also attempting to elevate them into space for an intergalactic journey. The track Tracks on this mixtape are a little on the short side, yes. Nothing as lengthy or even as labored over as a lot of the material on Skin. But Flume creatively transitions these songs into one another throughout this entire mixtape, so it does feel like a pretty holistic and connected experience. For example, the plucky and pitched keys, the factory floor beats and grime rappers, so tight. all of them meld perfectly on the song High Beams and create a pretty gritty and gorgeous sound, which the song Jewel transitions from amazingly, almost like the song were a compositional extension of the previous one, with its gorgeous and glitchy synth melodies, what sounds like a religious chant being fed through a weird robot filter. Also, the futuristic and bright drones of Dreamtime transition really seamlessly into to the kind of stunning remix of Sophie's Is It Cold in the Water, where Flume teams up with Eprom and gives the track a bit more variation and a lot more of a percussive backbone. And even though some of the beats added into this track are kind of rigid in their groove, I, I do kind of like the noisy, sharp, abrasive quality they bring to the cut. There are also a load of tracks on the back end of this thing that are about one minute and change that all connect in this one elongated mix of industrial banger beats, harmonious alien synths, weird distortions, weird vocal samples, a few unlikely nods to different electronic music styles. The song Mud features these trap hi-hats rattling away against these walls of sub-zero tundra synthesizers that are so frigid they're hot, it's like dry ice. The song 71M3 has these stuttering wonky beats matched with some forlorn and strange vocal samples that sound like they're lifted out of a, an old Crystal Castles record. The song Vitality has one of the weirdest mixes of ideas on the entire record, this classic hip-hop groove coming out of the beat, all these nasty metallic timbres on the percussion, and then a bunch of ethereal tones that feel like they're coming from a vaporwave song. Flume also goes kind of lo-fi on the track Upgrade, which has quick hit after quick hit of these distorted, shimmering, icy synth arpeggios, and occasional techno rhythm popping in for a second, and there are a few great features on this mixtape as well, like Sophie, who is not just remixed, but uh, featured too. On the song Voices, the makeup of this track is a little mysterious. It might not have grabbed my attention if not for the feature credits on it because it does feel like a a weird little vocal interlude that is not one of the boldest or loudest cuts on the record. It's just like a low-key moment in between two of the more engaging and busy tracks on the album, but still a beautiful and strange oasis on this record and, and transitions to and from effectively from the tracks surrounding it. Also, the amazing JPEG Mafia verse that is dropped on this tape is really impressive too. I'm actually uh, really surprised to hear not only some of his hardest bars in a while on this thing. You know, there are a lot of interesting bits and tracks just kind of flying 
flying by at the speed of light on High This Is Flume, but the strength of this project really comes down to how all of the songs connect to each other, just to create this weird, linear, sonic adventure. A whole ton of colorful, weird ear candy. Given the release of projects like More Life over the past few years, where we've heard some pretty major artists essentially turn their cutting room floor into a record, into a mixtape, into a whatever, this project, right here, next to me, on the wall is a nice refreshing change of pace from the mediocrity uh, that we've been hearing from records like that. Nothing on this mixtape is too overdone as it was on Skin, and maybe some of what we're hearing here may in fact just be like cobbled together, but sometimes the magic of what you're doing comes down more to how you present it and how you execute it. Yes, there are a lot of weird short one-off moments throughout this project, but they're all guided in a way where they reinforce each other really well. And again, it is worth noting that overall the material on this thing is a kind of experimental change of pace for Flume, which I hope to hear him indulge a bit more in in the future. I'm not under the impression that this is one of the greatest or deepest or most cutting edge uh, projects I've heard ever. Certainly it is rough around the edges. It's kind of lightning in a bottle in ways that also benefit it, but also disadvantage it a little bit. Would love to hear Flume continuing to sound this adventurous, but with a bigger and a better sound on future projects, feeling a light eight on this one. Tran, Zishin, have you given this mixtape a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, <laughs> Flume. Hi, this is Flume. Forever.